Hello, hello, a warm welcome to London at the Champions League quarterfinal first leg against FC Arsenal tomorrow. Welcome, uh, first day with press conference. We start with Leroy Sani. Leroy, hi. Hello. Okay, let's go. First question, yes, in the middle, please. No, microphone is over there. Mare Küschel for Kika. It's me Yes. How are you feeling? How is the injury situation? Are you fully fit? Yeah, in the last few days it's been much better. Today in the training session everything was okay. So I really look forward to tomorrow. It didn't go too well in the Bundesliga. Uh, so you had some talks in the last few days. So what do you want to improve tomorrow? Yeah, definitely we want to play well over the 90 minutes. No matter if there are any ups and downs, we just want to be focused. We want to be successful. We want to have energy in the game. So sometimes in some games we didn't really have that. So we want to show what we can do. We want to show the quality that we have in our team. And we want to win the game. After Liverpool, United, Arsenal are top of the table. What do you think about Arsenal? They've had a great season. And how do you compare the Premier League with the Bundesliga? Well, yeah, they're definitely a very strong team. They play super aggressive football with lots of tempo. But they're also very good defensively, very stable. It will be a tough game for sure. As I said, they play great football. So we have to work together both defensively and offensively. And we have to... Put pro, to to be fast, and it will be a great game, a hard, a tough game. The way they play, of course, it is a, on a higher level, but but we can show that too. We've shown that sometimes in the league, like Leverkusen, but yeah, that is a bit like that. Hey Roy, how are you? Hello, good, and you? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, you played with a great striker in Sergio Aguero at Manchester City. You're now playing with another great striker in Harry Kane. I'm sure he's told you about his great record against Arsenal. How much tomorrow night will you be lying on him, looking to him maybe to continue that record against the Gunners? Um, yeah, I hope uh, he continues with the record. Obviously, it would be nice for him. Um, and yeah, if he continues with it, it would be also mean for us. Good, it's a good sign because yeah, um, he will help us in, in scoring goals and um, yeah, help us maybe to try to win the game. Um, so yeah, uh, it will be definitely a special game for him, no doubts about that. And uh, yeah, he's also really looking forward to it. And in the fourth row, Stefan Kumberger for Sport 1. You had a few injury niggles. How was that over the past weeks? What 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 kind of move, movements were too bad? And on a scale, how bad was the pain? Well, in the last few days, the pain was quite high, so I couldn't really train. So that's why the, the, it made no sense to try to play against Heidenheim. And then, of course, we haven't had much time in between, so that's why uh, we decided that I would sit that one out. The pain was quite extreme in that moment, so it's quite variable. It's not always the same. It fluctuates depending on the movements. Some sometimes more when I ran, sometimes more when I took shots, but now everything has calmed down so it looks much better. What was it like to work under Mikel Arteta at Manchester City and what sort of qualities did he show you 
what made you think he can go and achieve stuff in the game? Um, it was great. Um, I'm really, uh, yeah, I was pleased about uh, uh, to work with him because he actually really helped me also a lot at this time at, at City. Um, the same with the whole staff, it was Pep too. But um, yeah, we had also a lot of individually talks um, about how I can improve more in my in my game. Um, what are my weaknesses and what are my strengths? Um, we worked a lot, uh, yeah, of, around me um, specifically too. And um, I think through him, uh, I made kind of like a quick, huge improvements um, because just with the ideas he had and um, and he gave them to me. And I still keep them in my mind and try to put them out in, into my game. Um, if it's about like the positioning, um, how do I have to behave in certain situations? And um, yeah, I'm thankful for that. Next is Mark Gabel for RTL. Yesterday and the day before, the, the how were those talks that you had? Did players or did people become loud? And how do you see the situation? And is it now like uh, you're trying everything for tomorrow? Yeah, well, it wasn't really loud, but we talked about what went well and what didn't go too well. And what's more important is that we drew the conclusion that obviously we were quite frustrated because we have quite a high quality in the team and it was really annoying that we can't sh show it all the time so that's why we said okay well now let's really go for it it's a champions league match completely different competition so th now it doesn't matter where we are in the league or how well we played in the league we have to show up tomorrow there are lots of factors at play tomorrow And we want to show to try our best tomorrow and win the game. So tomorrow you don't have any away fans. What does that mean for you? Yeah, obviously it's uh, annoying, it's frustrating. You want to have your fans with you. You want to give something back to them. So Tomorrow the situation is diff different, they're not here, but obviously we still want to do our best and play well and uh, give something back to the fans even though they're not here. Tomorrow first 11, uh, 11, will you play because you're sitting here now? And you have you as a team have two faces in the Champions League and the Bundesliga. How do you explain that? Well, I don't know if I will start tomorrow. You have to ask the coach that question. So, yes, there are two different competitions. Uh, yeah, on the one hand, you're more in a rhythm in your own league, And that's where the main focus is on a day-to-day -day basis. So, but yeah, once it doesn't go too well all the time, then you start overthinking it. And in the Champions League, it's been better ex with the exception of that one game. But we basically always have to show that no matter what game is the next one. So yeah, it didn't quite work out like that, but we can't change anything. We have to keep looking forward. And tomorrow we can make up for quite a few things and go to, to the right, on the right track. There were a lot of talks about the coach in the last few days, so this is obviously a special game for him as well. How much is he looking forward to that game? He has prepared us like for every other game. You can tell that he's very motivated. He showed us videos, and he also told us about how the team plays... And he has warned us, but also at the same time has motivated us about what we can do and what we have to show. He is looking forward to the game tomorrow, obviously, also because it is in London. But nevertheless, he wants to win it like we all do, and we're all super uh, motivated. 
mentioned Harry Kane before, uh, especially earlier in the season, you seem to have such a good link up with him. What was the key to that? How easy is it to play with him? And also, have you been in touch with Gabriel Jesus in the lead up to this game? Um, I mean, it's really easy to play with him uh, because he's an yeah intelligent player. Um, he knows how his teammates around function. He knows how they play. Um, he knows the trend, and um, he's trying to yeah use them for his own game, but also to to yeah help his teammates with it and um, the way how he plays it fits myself but also uh, him a lot and that's why it's uh, also a good connection um, but also with other players too um, so yeah it helps a lot because yeah he's an, an amazing striker um, I didn't have any contact right now before the game with Gabriel um, but I think we both were like kind of too focused now onto the game but um, I'm really looking forward to, to see him tomorrow and uh, yeah we definitely will have a chat together. Dann noch zwei Fragen bitte Marco Mader für den Sportinformationsdienst. Your contract is running out in the summer. Can you tell us what your plans are for after that? There are a few things um, to consider, but at the moment I'm not really talk thinking about that because we have a crucial game tomorrow, so I'm focused on that one. So I want that we play good football with a team and start winning again and maybe save a few things with the Champions League. So that's what I'm thinking about. So, but my agents are talking to Bayern Munich and in the next few weeks that will become a bit more intense, but basically I try to concentrate on the team. So, so strikers are always measured by their goals and assists. So how much pressure do you make yourself to yourself and you weren't always fit, you still tried to play? Yeah, of course, I have my personal goals that I try to reach, but at the end of the day, it's the most important that I play well and I help the team, whether that means that I score, have assists, or just have a good game in general with like defensive work, for example. I just want to be able to say at the end of the game that I played well and I have a good feeling And that's the most important thing for me, and that is what fun, and that's why we all play football together, because you, you can have a great feeling, especially if you win and have helped the team. So I try to find my rhythm as quickly as I can, and I, I want to always help the team. Thank you, Leroy. Now the coach is coming.